Making a spiral staircase is easy. Making sure you don't bump your head on the way up. Now there is where it gets a bit more tricky. We've all been there, trying to build a spiral staircase to get upstairs in style before finding out that your character is two blocks tall and you can't actually use it. Or it works, it just doesn't look too pretty. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that I've come up with that you can do to make your staircases look good and also stop you from knocking that noggin of yours on the way up. Now whether you're trying to build a big or a small staircase, it really doesn't matter because there are a few things that are the same in every single one of them that you can make your staircase look good with and also make sure it works for you as well. Now we're going to kick things off with the most basic and most important of spiral staircases. And this is the spiral staircase that just goes one block around a central block. And of course, the most important part about this is make sure you're building around a central block because most people that have a problem with spiral staircases end up trying to go around in two blocks like this. As far as I can see, this is where most people make their mistakes and they end up walking up and realizing, you know what? I can't get back to where I started. I can only crouch into that and I can't even get up the next step. So that is where most people make their biggest problem. And of course, it can all be avoided if you just build that same thing around a central block. Now, the next thing about this is, this is actually where you get the spacing right for any bigger spiral staircases. So make sure you understand what's going on here. It's very simple, not much to understand, but if you don't get this right, your spiral staircases may of course fall flat on their face and you don't want that to happen. So the next thing that you need to know is of course, make sure you're using slabs and not stairs. Stairs make things a little bit more complicated in terms of making stairs. I know it sounds weird, but slabs are going to be your best friend in this. So we'll kick it off with slabs over here. And to build this one, we are only going to go up one half slab each time we go around with one block. So we place a block, go up a half slab. We'll go up another half slab, go up another half slab and work our way up until we get to the very top. And we should be able to fit into our spiral staircase like that. So if we just keep going around there, nice and easy go all the way around without having any problems of bumping your head. Now, just to avoid confusion, I will make this back to what it is. But if you wanted to get stairs into this, you could just replace the blocks on the sides here with the stair blocks and you can get something that looks like that. But I personally think it looks a little bit better with slabs at this level. Uh, you can put stairs if you prefer, but that's the way I would do it if I had to put stairs into that. Now, moving on to the next spiral staircase, we're going to make things a little bit more complicated but not too much more complicated. Let's say we wanted that same spiral staircase, but we wanted it to go out two blocks on either side like that. This is where we make things a little bit more complicated, but as I say, you know what? Don't panic, it's very easy. So one thing that is helpful to know is your Minecraft circles. If you wanted to build a circle that was out two blocks like that, you would end up making an area like this. So we'd go around there, going out there, 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 and of course, like this. Now, this is probably the most simple circle you can make. And if you don't know your circles, of course, I'm sure you can just Google it, find Minecraft circles, very easy, but it's important for a spiral staircase if you think about it, because you do want your spiral staircase to go up in circles. Now we'll get into the circle in just one second, but firstly, we need to build the spiral staircase that we have just built on the other build right next to us there, because that is the core basic spiral staircase that we need for all other spiral staircases. So we'll just get that in and now we can start working our way out to a bigger spiral staircase. And in fact, if you're having problems with it, I'd recommend just starting with this and going through these steps because you're not gonna get confused if you do it the same way that I'm doing it right here. So we get that spiral staircase in. Now we go out one block on each side piece like this, and that will be how far our build should come out. So if we go out there, make sure we put those blocks back in there, nice and easy. Now the next thing is of course, well, this doesn't look too good. We've got this awkward little piece where we've only got one block out like that. And that is where filling in the circle blocks make things so much better. So for this, what I'd recommend is doing a little bit of an L shape around like that. So you see there, a little L, and then we'll go around, fill in that one, a little L, fill in that one, a little L, fill in that one, and just keep going around. Ls and fill in that ones, and you're gonna get your way all the way to the top. And you're not gonna have any problems with your spiral staircase looking odd. You could just go around and walk right up it. No problems at all. And you know what? It still looks good because you have got your blocks completely ordered and everything works as well as it can. Now I know that looks incredibly easy and when you give it a go, it may seem very complicated. Don't feel bad about that because that is the way a lot of things work in this game is, is something looks so simple and it's only a few blocks, yet when you try and do it yourself, sometimes it's pretty darn tough to just think about where the blocks are and where they line up in terms of uh, one another. So 
don't feel bad about that. So now we're gonna move on to something a bit more complicated. And of course, same rule applies. If you get that one down, you can move on to this one. I'd recommend getting each one down in order because it's gonna make your life so much easier. So we'll do the normal thing where we just go up the same way we did on the first one, where we go up every half slab by a half slab and that will make things so much easier. So we just go there and get the height right from the start so we don't have any troubles. The next thing is we're just gonna do the same thing again, fill out the sides for the second one and we will get that one filled in with our normal old L shape and fill in the little space that we've got there. So all the way around, just like that and we've got ourselves our second spiral staircase over there, which uh, does look pretty good, I think. I think this one probably solves, if you if the first one didn't solve your problem, this one probably will solve your problem. And if this one didn't, the one we were about to build will definitely help you out there. So for this one, I know I called the last one L shapes where we had that little arrow, like this sort of thing. It probably would have been more accurate for me to call it an arrow because the L shape is something I actually focus on in this one here. So if we imagine just a normal L like that, where we've got two blocks and two blocks there versus the little arrow like that, that might be a bit easier to call an L shape. So we'll start off with the most obvious way to make an L shape by filling in these blocks here, which is over here where we've got that arrow, we just add one there and then we've got an L shape. Again, the arrow, L shape, it fills in that block there. Again, the arrow, L shape, and you know what? It just keeps going around like that in an L shape where we've got the little arrow. Now, it sometimes does look a little bit more complicated, but it's really not. It's really way more easy than what you might expect because we've got the circle already existing. So over here where we filled in the second piece, which was the smaller one in that one there, we now can just go ahead and fill in the circle over here with another L shape. Remember, don't go any further than an L shape just yet. We're just doing L shapes. That's literally all we need to do for this little one over here. Just do the L shapes and then do the L shapes all the way around. And then now that we've got that, of course, there's the L shape, there's the L shape. On these bottom ones, sometimes they get a little bit more complicated because you've you've got nothing to reference, but of course, just have a look at where your last one is and use it the same way as what you did before. So we do something like that, and then we could do an L shape there, but it doesn't really matter for the bottom. For the bottom, we can kind of just do something like that just to get a nice little edge piece. So the last thing for this one is you'll notice that this corner block here is missing in all of these because we've done nothing more than L shapes and that's pretty much it. So now this is where we go a little bit out of the rules and we just fill in this block over here. So we could fill it in by doing that one there and doing a cool, I guess that would be more of a boomerang <laughs> over there. But I think what looks a little bit better is if we just go to the L shape there and we break it because we're gonna have to break one of them. We'll break that one there. We'll just make sure we consistently break the same one on the edge over there by filling in that corner block right there. And that should be a nice and simple spiral staircase that works quite well, I think, personally. And of course, if you did want to put stairs into it, like we did in the first one where I showed you a little bit of a trick to put stairs in, you can see why it's a little bit more complicated to get them to work. And personally, I think with the spiral staircase, it's probably a little bit easier just to stick to your slabs and work out from there. Now, of course, you can see how the basic turns a little bit more complicated, it turns a little bit more complicated by just adding in a small factor, for instance, moving out one block. And if you wanted to go even further, say for instance you want to take out these blocks here and have a wider thing in the middle that's fine as well and you can of course try work out how you would do that we're using these same things a few things to take away of course is get it right in the beginning work your way up slowly and also the L shapes are your best friends because they will definitely be the best part of uh, getting a bit of order to these curves and when you start going up because I've found myself so many times building a spiral staircase and then having to sit down and look and say, hey, that one goes like that and it does a weird shape and then it goes up and down. You know what? I just know I put an L shape. I put an L shape. I put an L shape. And occasionally I know they can be J's, but you know what? They all L shapes to me. And that's the way, of course, you can make things a little bit easier and remember them. Now, I hope my explanation of how I do these spiral staircases may help you. And of course, there's no shame in going back and having a look again because it does seem simple, it can be complicated, and it's just a matter of practicing. Now that you know what to practice, it'll make your life so much easier and hopefully help you out in your worlds. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this helps and I'll catch you in the next one.